From lion cats to vampire waifus, Skyrim features a diverse cast of characters to befriend, betray, or fall in love with. Whether it's the unbreaking loyalty of Lydia or the twisted humor of Cicero, our favorite Skyrim characters often reveal a lot about our personalities. So, here's what your favorite Skyrim character says about you. Number 1. Nazim You don't exist. You can't possibly exist. In none of the infinite possible universes is there a single moment where someone thought that Nazim might be their favorite character. Next. Number 2. Lydia Ah, Lydia. She's the stalwart house car that's sworn to carry your burdens and follows you even into the most intense of battles. Players who always like to be in control and boss people around will take a liking to Lydia's undying loyalty to the player. After all, she's essentially your personal bodyguard and servant mixed into one. And although her personality is about as tasteless as a Nord Mead, it is one fit for a servant. She is loyal, headstrong, and willing to fight any mud crab minding their own business. She's also one of the first characters, so you're probably already pretty lazy and can't be bothered to pick up another companion. Number 3. Serana If Skyrim's mod pages tell us anything, it's that Serana is easily the most beloved character in the entire game, and with her rich personality, insane stats, and her incredible backstory, it's easy to see why she's everyone's favorite. But if we're both being honest with each other, we only like her because she's hot. I mean, as soon as everyone found out that this goth vampire woman could be a companion, most of them were frothing at their mouths. But leave it to Bethesda to troll the entire fanbase and make her one of the few companions you can't marry. This restriction destroyed Skyrim players all across the world. But instead of simply accepting that their marriage wasn't meant to be, modders forced the damn option into the game. So, chances are, if Serana's your favorite character, you're a simp. Number 4. Parthenax Ah, party snacks. The old and wise dragon can almost be seen as the father that Dragonborn never had. With his days consisting of chilling on the top of the throat of the world, literally and figuratively speaking, and dropping philosophical questions, Parthenax makes for the ultimate stoner buddy. This means that if you take a liking to this scaly gentle giant, you most definitely indulge in smoking some of that special Nern roots, if you know what I mean. You probably wouldn't mind spending the rest of your days up in the mountains with him, trading Mario impressions and debating Elder Scrolls lore. But if we're being honest, you'll probably only like Parthenax because you hate this next character. Number 5. Delphine Much like Nazim, I feel a bit hard-pressed to even consider the idea that someone could find this human sandpaper to be likable. I mean, first off, she literally wants you to kill our boy Parthenax. Who the hell could do that? He's one of the most likable characters in the entire game, but on top of that, she's arrogant, authoritative, and about as interesting as a snail race. If your favorite character is Delphine, then you probably want to see the world burn. Number 6. Ulfric Although some of the reasons the Stormcloaks are fighting for can be seen as justifiable, nobody can deny that the Nord Rebellion has a little bit of a racism problem. Shocking, I know. It's not like this is anything special in the Elder Scrolls series. I mean, half of the series' lore can be boiled down to one race being racist to another race. Nevertheless, you probably don't see any issue with it. You're the kind of person that makes your family nervous when the dinner conversation starts getting political. Friends are always careful not to provide their opinion of anything around you, as you can turn a pleasant conversation into a fiery debate faster than a Skyrim speedrunner breaks the game people generally steer away from you because of this. You often feel lonely because of this, but likely fail to see the issue. Instead, you blame your problems on those damn Dark Elf spies that you talk so much about. Number 7. Jazargo Jazargo being your favorite Skyrim character means one of two things. You're either a furry, or you have amazing taste in Skyrim companions. I mean, come on, let's face it, Jazargo's the best companion in the game, unless you're into goth girls. By the way, how can you hate Jazargo? Not only does he have amazing destruction skills and the highest health out of any other follower, but he's also got to be the funniest companion in the game. If your favorite character is Jazargo, then chances are you're probably a really funny person. Or you're just a troll. Number 8. Cicero Cicero is one of the strangest and most interesting characters in all of Skyrim. On the surface, he seems like a harmless jester that may have a few screws loose up there. 
But the further you delve into his backstory, the more tragic it gets. Before coming to Skyrim, Sisera was a member of the Bruma Sanctuary before it was destroyed. He eventually moved on to the Shaden Hall Sanctuary, which soon met the same fate, leading to Sisera being the last remaining member of that sanctuary. Slowly, he grew insane, obsessing over the Night Mother and trying to become the Listener. Players who learn about this begin to have sympathy for the Jester. Behind his eccentric personality lies a ruined man who had to witness the slow death of not one, but two sanctuaries. Players who like Sisera realize that you can't judge a book by its cover, and that even the most loud and flamboyant personalities have personal issues, or you're just crazy. Number 9. Alduin This big bad dragon is the main antagonist of Skyrim, and boy does he take himself seriously. He's always roaring and spouting off about how he's going to devour the entire world, like some kind of overgrown lizard with delusions of grandeur. But for all his bravado, Alduin is pretty easy to kill. I mean, the guy dies in like four hits for crying out loud, and most people just end up remembering him as the dragon who saved you at the beginning of the game. But for some players, Alduin is the misunderstood anti-hero. These people buy into the theory that Alduin was the good guy all along, whose sacrifice prevented the destruction of all Nern. You can typically find them on the Skyrim Reddit, endlessly debating with other fans about who is the most important character in the Elder Scrolls universe. But if you ask me, this is just their way of coping with the fact that although dragons are cool and all, Alduin is just not that great of a villain. Number 10. Taldrin Zero this dumber spell sword has about as sharp of a tongue as his elven dagger, and him making a mockery of basically anything the two of you come across in your adventures is sure to make anyone fall in love with this dark elf. And I mean, how could you not? Not only is Teldrin a master swordsman that can be useful in even the toughest of fights, but he makes for great company to have his personality alone. You can expect to hear him give snarky remarks about pretty much every landmark the two of you come across, and tell short stories of his various clients before you came along. All in all, Teldrin is the ultimate bro, and players who find him as their favorite know how to choose their friends wisely. The same, unfortunately, cannot be said for those that take a liking to this next character. Number 11. Astrid For many, Astrid feels like she belongs in the same annoyance category as Delphine. She talks about family like she's in a Fast and Furious movie. She instantly becomes jealous of you being the listener and tries to have you killed, and she's decided to throw all of the core tenants of the Dark Brotherhood out the window. This is not to mention that she also sold out the Dark Brotherhood, and was the sole reason the Sanctuary was raided and destroyed by the Legion. It's hard to believe that anyone could even possibly like this paranoid leader, who turned the secret order of assassins into a bunch of jokes. But if such people were to exist, then they'd love watching the world burn. They're the first ones to get popcorn after a car accident, while everyone else is dialing the phone. All in all, if you like watching people with an impressive level of stupidity ruin everything they ever cared for, then Astrid is the perfect character for you. Number 12. Maik the Liar Maik is a kaji known for his tall tales and amusing anecdotes, kind of like the fantasy version of that one uncle of family gatherings who always has a wild story to tell, but you're never quite sure if it's entirely true. He claimed to have seen dragons dancing, mud crabs wielding swords, and even a giant riding a mammoth like a pony. And while most of his stories are exaggerated or outright lies, he can't help but be charmed by his enthusiasm. Players who like Maik probably share the same qualities. You're the kind of person people want at parties. You may not always be telling the truth. Hell, you rarely ever tell the truth. But at least you keep things interesting. Subscribe to fall damage, you milk drinker.